Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jordan and welcome to JC's Anime Reviews. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Welcome to Demon School, Irma Kun. The first season just ended, so I wanted to let you guys know what I thought of it. Also, there shouldn't be any spoilers for it besides the plot and characters, so you can watch this and then if you want to watch the anime, you can. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome to Demon School, Irma Kun is about a human boy named Irma, and one day his parents sell him to a demon named Sullivan. And Sullivan takes Irma to the demon world where he adopts him as his grandson and he enrolls him in the Babel School for Demons. And Irma is told not to let anyone find out that he's a human, because if they find out he's a human, they'll eat him, since demons eat humans. So, with finding that out, Irma vows to not let anyone discover he's a human and try to blend in with all the other demons at this school. I enjoyed Demon School. I thought that it was a very fun and, like, happy and colorful anime, which is a little weird because they're in the demon world and demons are supposed to be evil, but it's not that bad. Um, it didn't bother me that much. I thought the show was pretty good. There's only two real problems I had with it. And those problems are that the humor gets not as good towards the end. It's very repetitive humor. Like, towards the beginning, the first episode, I thought it was very funny. The jokes were pretty funny. And then they're just overused so much. All the jokes are about Irma being a human and them being demons. Like, for example, their school song that they sing has to do with eating humans. I thought that was pretty funny. But then they show that song a lot throughout the anime. And, like, they seem like they want you to laugh every time they play it. But it's not that funny. It, or at first it's funny, but it just gets a little old. Um, that's not horrible, though. I mean, that did bother me. The other thing that bothered me was that it gets very, like, about friendship and kind of cringy at times. There's sometimes where people will start singing. That's not very common, by the way. There's only, like, three episodes. And I know a lot of anime do that with singing, but in this one it got a little cringy. It's not bad, though. But those are probably the only things I can think of that really bothered me. Um, because pretty much I really enjoyed the show besides those things. The characters were good. I just, I just really liked it. I don't know. There are some action scenes too that I really enjoyed. There's one episode that I think is my favorite. It has to do with them playing like dodgeball, <laughs> which I thought that was creative and really fun. That there's actually a lot of jokes with that one that I thought were pretty funny. So that's pretty much my, probably my favorite episode. Um, the, I thought Irma was a good character. He's very like happy all the time though he's probably the nicest anime character i have ever seen he's always smiling happy he's also has this thing where he can't refuse requests from anyone so if you say please or like help me or something like that he has to do it like there's like four words or something like that and if you say them in the sentence he has to help you no matter what i'm not entirely sure why he's like that they explain it but it's I mean, it's fine. Sometimes it's kind of funny, but yeah, and I think they um, kind of explain it too much in the beginning. Every time he'll say please, they like have to pause it and the narrator has to explain like he can't refuse requests. Like I, I got it in the first episode, but they just keep pushing it at first. I mean, they stop after a little while, but that's one of the other things that bother me about it. But still, he's a good character. There are two other characters that are my favorite. He's in this like class with all these demons and he ends up becoming friends with someone named asmodeus and someone named clara and they end up becoming like the three main main characters and i thought that they were good i thought asmodeus is pretty cool he's like the cool rich kid and he uses like some like sort of firepower or something like that and clara is like this crazy like super hyper character but i actually really liked her i thought that she was at probably the one of the funnier characters um i really liked her she could be seen as like annoying but i didn't find her annoying which was weird uh, but i thought that she was a good character also the show is very similar to my hero academia like they're in a classroom with all these other demons and all the demons have some sort of special power because the way their power works is like their bloodline has certain abilities which is passed down through each or through the generation so they all have unique abilities but that reminds me of my hero academia all the students having unique abilities and unique personalities and stuff like that but um one thing that i will say is that they don't do too much character development with the class i think there's like two episodes maybe where they focus on two different characters in the class but besides that you don't really know anyone else in the class like, they kind of just show up, and they're in the episodes, but... So I didn't really care too much about anyone else, except Irma and the other two that were become his friends. So, overall, I enjoyed Welcome to Demon School, Irma <laughs> I'm gonna call it Demon School for short. 
Um, I thought it was a good anime. The characters are good. Everything. It's just fun and happy. Like, if you want to have a good time watching anime, you should go watch this one. I definitely think that you shouldn't go to it if you want to see... If you don't want to see any, like, serious fights or anything like that, don't watch this anime. This is just very fun, goofy anime. So go watch that if you want to just have a good time and maybe laugh a little bit. So I'm going to give Welcome to Demon School or Makun a B-. minus. So yeah, go check it out if you want to. I watched it on Crunchyroll. It should be there. The first season just ended. Um, you can go watch it. It's like 23 episodes. It's not a very long anime. So if you don't want to spend too much time, you can go check it out. The second season is coming out next year. Um, I'm definitely going to watch that. I'm excited for that. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I want to say also is thank you guys so much for all the support. We've hit 30 subscribers. I didn't mention it in my last video because I literally just finished editing it and uploading it. So it uploaded, I went onto my YouTube to like post the link to on Twitter or something like that. And I saw that we hit 30 subscribers and I tweeted about it, posted on Instagram about it. But I didn't um, talk about it in the review because I didn't notice it at the time. So I just, I'll say it now. Thank you guys so much for all the support um, for the subscribers. I'm not sure what we're at now. It's probably, I think it was a little over 30 last time I checked, but I just want to say thank you guys so much. It means a lot to me. Um, I hope that you're enjoying the reviews. I'm enjoying making them. I think it's really fun. It's the most fun I've had in a long time. So I'm really glad that I decided to start doing this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll be trying to do two videos a week. And hopefully I'll get two a week. It might be one a week some weeks, depending on what happens. But I'll try my best. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.